Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a makeup tutorial on this look. I actually love this makeup look. I don't do mauves very often, like these mauve pink shades, but I love how this makeup look turned out. Zoom, honey, can I get a zoom? Can I get a little zoom? Zoomy zoom? You wanna go like inside? Yeah, no, no, don't get like, full back. Like that? Fall back, here. fall back, right here, okay. Ooh. This is the makeup look we're doing today, guys. I'm also gonna teach you the technique of elongating the eyes and making them way more cat eye-like. You guys ready for it? Let's do it. So first, we're gonna dip into some eyeshadow base. This is MAC Soft Ochre. And I'm just using a, what is this? A Sigma Bake Precision Brush. Just grab any buffing brush so that you can get a nice even layer. Real quick. I did my brows off camera, but if you want a tutorial on these brows, it's the last video uploaded. I'll link it in the description box. So next, I'm just gonna pick up a bone colored eyeshadow and setting that, you guys could use translucent powder as well. Just wanna make sure we set the base. I do this step every single time. I zoomed you guys in so you could see better. I'm using Tan Lines now. This is by Makeup Geek Cosmetics on a Smith 247. We're gonna go ahead and apply this on the outer corner here. And sweep it into the crease and then up towards the upper crease. I'm also gonna place that in the inner corner. Just kind of look straight and just dig the brush into this inner corner area and start wiggling. It's right in here. Not the tear duct, okay? Just a little bit above that and start blending this eyeshadow in there. The look I was going for was a crease that was really dark on the inner part of the eye and the outer part. And I'm putting the tip of the brush with the most product into the crease and then lightly blending it outwards towards this brow bone. And then whatever's left over, just slightly sweep it through the rest of the crease so that we have a connection here, but it's not gonna be a super defined connection. Just a nice little shadow there. I'm going into the shade called Blur by Melt Cosmetics, and this is intended to blur out the edges of your eyeshadow, so that's what I'm gonna do. I take that and just lightly sweep it with a clean brush along the edges of that shadow that we just placed in our crease and upper crease. So this is kind of the effect we want. It's really, really soft, but as you can see, it's like darker on the inner and outer parts of the eyes, both sides. And we're gonna, we're gonna bump that up even more in a second. Hold please. Okay, I'm back. So we're gonna take Rot. I love this, it's like one of my favorite dark eyeshadows because it's not really warm, it's not really cool, it's kind of just like a good in-between. And this is by Melt Cosmetics. This is what's gonna pump this look up even more. Taking that on the same brush, this is a really good brush for blending, like precision blending, the Smith brush. This is the 247 I mentioned earlier. This eyeshadow is super pigmented. Be careful. I always start right here on this outer corner, tilt your head back so you could see right where your crease is, kind of just start blending that out. And I made sure to put it right in the crease. So I haven't dipped back into the eyeshadow since the initial amount that I got. Just wanna make sure with these dark shades that you're really blending them out before you add more product. To get the idea of the shape, I'm gonna go into the inner corner, same spot we put the first eyeshadow, we're just deepening it up now and focusing it more onto the crease. Okay, pues. Now we're gonna use Soft Brown by MAC. This to me has a little bit of a mauve undertone. So I'm just gonna pack this all over the lid and I'm using a brush that has no name on it. So it's so weird. I love this brush, but I never have seen a name on it. Don't know where it came from. Just like a flat, fluffy blending brush. It's good for packing on eyeshadow, but it also is like a little bit more fluffy than a standard flat brush. So it's nice to blend. After I apply that lid color, I go back into the Smith brush that I was using to apply the Rot shade. And I'm just gonna blend in those edges one more time just to kind of mix the mauve tone on the lid with the crease color. All right, let's do the wing, shall we? I need to find the winged liner is the situation that I have right now. I hate those moments where you put something down, like you just sat, had it, now it's gone. That happens to me all, oh, here it is, I found it. Sucka. 
I've been using this Bobbi Brown liquid liner. I really like it. It has a little bit of a sparkle to it, like a gold sparkle. I also really love one by Kat Von D that I used to have, but it also grew legs and walked away, never came back. This is the one that I'm using now. It's called Golden Bronze Sparkle. And we're gonna do a serious wing. Let me lift my robe sleeves up, do a little stretch. All right, here we go. Tilt your head back and take it to the brow and bring it back. Now just go ahead and fill it in. Yeah, you gotta just take it, make it a dramatic wing. Boom. So I've been elongating my eyes by adding a more defined point here in the inner corner, but we'll do that with eyeshadow after the liner and after the concealer. So now I'm taking my foundation. We're gonna move on to the face before we finish the eyes. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, number 7.5. Just put it onto this little, it's like a candle holder dish. You can get them at Michael's. We're going in to tan up my face. I had uh, a facial the other day and I got extractions. So I have one like here, healing, you know, these ones. I feel like I'm starting all over again with like new skin. Now I'm gonna do my concealer. I'm mixing two of the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealers. I'm mixing Warm Honey and Medium. Warm Honey is really dark for me actually, but I feel like it kind of cancels out. It's like kind of skin tone. So I put a little bit of this first and then Medium is super light. I don't think there's actually a color that's like perfect for me. Medium is also like a little bit ashier for my skin tone. So the Warm Honey mix with this really helps. Putting that on the sides of my nose as well. I actually really love this concealer for like that no makeup look. It's actually the only concealer I've ever, ever used that looks like no makeup when it's on your skin. It doesn't have full coverage though. I will tell you that much. I don't think it's meant to have full coverage. It's more of a light coverage concealer, but it's so pretty. And if you want a more full coverage concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape is good. I'm just gonna add a, I don't feel like I really need to, but just like a little right here. This is the uh, tan sand. I don't put this too close to my eyes though because I feel like it's a little too dry for my under eyes. I need more hydration. So I keep it more in the hollows of my eyes instead and it works really good. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the concealer. Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Put this on the side of my nose to make it look a little bit more narrow. I'm gonna set my foundation with this Charlotte Tilbury powder. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've never really stuck to one face powder. I feel like I always switch around because I've never found a powder that I'm like, this is amazing, but this is actually amazing. This is the shade two medium, and it's such a finely milled powder that it doesn't look crazy on your face. You know what I mean? And I have a problem with blotting my nose. Like my nose gets really, really shiny throughout my day with my makeup. But with this stuff, it's like you put it right over your shine and it just like melts into the skin and looks matte. I'm gonna finish off the eyes really quick. I'm going into tan lines. This is the Makeup Geek eyeshadow that we used in the crease, the first color we used. And I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line, focus most of the powder on the outer corner of the eye and then slowly drag it inwards. I really like this um, eyeshadow. It's just like a really good mauve mid-tone brown. I'm gonna take a, a flat brush. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Brush. Oops, the Lip Brush, but I'm using it for my eyes. And then in this inner corner, I'm going to follow my tear duct and kind of just elongate it this way. So you wanna bring that shadow to a point and blend it out. I don't want it to be too much though, cause that's not the, the point that we're gonna make. We're gonna make a continuation of the liquid liner, but with brown eyeshadow in a bit. Now I'm going back into Rot and I'm gonna put that on the outer part of the eye. And I'm kind of connecting this to the brown liner at the top. Slowly have it go thinner as you go in to the inner part of the eye, just very lightly graze like right underneath the waterline. You can see the waterline is clean right now. You wanna keep most of the focus on the outer part to keep with that cat eye kind of look. I'm just gonna buff it out a little bit so it's not too harsh. We're gonna go in with the MAC 266 and I'm putting the raw eyeshadow on the very tip of where the brush becomes a point. And what you wanna do is go where your eyeliner would keep going. See the tear duct part of your eye at the point? I just put this into the point very, very slowly, 
make a little point at the tip of the waterline. And this actually makes your eye look more cat eye like. Just adding that little detail because see how this one's like more round? This one's gonna now be more pointy, elongated. It's gonna give you a sultry look. Do you see that? How pointy now my inner corner is? It looks way more feline like. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and dust all this excess powder off under the eyes. I like to do a little bit of this patting motion so you don't disturb the concealer too much. I'm gonna quickly apply some mascara to my top lashes. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. And I'm just applying a quick base because we're gonna apply falsies. I'm gonna apply my House of Lashes Iconics. We're gonna go land them straight down. Lower lashes, these are Flutter Lashes Petite. I gotta get real close for this, so. All right, eye makeup done. Now it's the fun part, highlighting. My favorite part of doing my makeup is doing my eyebrows and doing my highlight. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight. This is fair to medium. I'm gonna use the highlight part one time. What I like about this powder, I used it the other day. It's not like a full glitter highlight, like, oh my God, let me blind you. This is more of like, let me hit you with that natural sheen type of look. Sometimes when I blend my highlight out with my beauty blender, it looks more natural. I'm gonna take this and actually put it down the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow. So I'm using that for my nose and the Cupid's bow, but I'm gonna use a different highlight for my cheekbones. I'm gonna use the Ofra Blissful highlight. This one is like pretty intense. Put that just on the high points right over here. All right, it's time to go into our bronzer. I bought a brand new Give Me Sun bronzer. I noticed that I was breaking out here a lot and I was kind of going through a phase where I wasn't washing my brushes as often as I need to. My esthetician told me that face brushes you have to clean every single day, especially because foundation brushes, powder brushes, they get a lot of bacteria in them. And I think my other Give Me Sun was just contaminated. Gross. And I know I could have disinfected it, but it was already on its last life. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the skin. I'm using a MAC 135 brush to just kind of give an overall bronze look. Bring that down your neck. Your chest is another area that stays really light for some weird reason. I think I'm good in bronze now. All right, for blush, I'm using Sigma Core de Rosa. It's been through some shit. I'm gonna apply this with this Sephora Featherweight Blending because this blush is super pigmented. Just a flush to the cheeks. Before I apply my lip, I'm just gonna kind of give myself a spritz. I got a brand new MAC Fix Plus. That shit really shot out at me right now, like a shower. I'm so used to my other one that spits at me like a camel. So for my lips, I'm gonna line them first with the Pickup Liner from The Bomb Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Acute One. All right, so I'm gonna be using the Ofra Liquid Lipstick, and this is in Bel Air. It's more so like a pinky, mauve shade. Very pink, actually. All right, so that's it. This is the finished makeup look. Very sultry, smoky, cat eye very mauve super matte. I really, really like how this makeup look turned out. I also really love this like elongated eye technique. If you guys try it out, let me know if it works for you. I know it works especially well for people with rounder eyes. Just keep the liner thicker on the outer part, then thinner on the rounder part of your eye, and then do this little trick. It's gonna give you that Angelina Jolie eye. That's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So boom, boom, boom. Honestly, like, I can't move forward if this edge is not blended. It really pisses me off. Well, mm. I just don't want to be too much, you know? Too extra? Yeah. Desi doesn't want to be extra. Just kidding. <laughs>